No, I'm telling you, it's way too early to build a Vulcan. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Just talking to the commander here about the base we built. Looking pretty good. So, you want to learn the basics of building an economy? Well, you came to the right place. Stick around and I'll teach you a few things. To start off, you're going to need to know where to spawn. Uh, this is indicated by the green bar and red bar that you can see there. The green bar is your area to spawn. The red bar is the enemy's area to spawn. Now, where do you spawn? Like, what area in the map do you choose? Well, you're going to want to know where the metal points are. This can be done by pressing F4. By doing this, all the metal points and the geothermal points will highlight. You want to pick an area with as many metal points close together as possible. Now, once you've chosen a starting location, before you click ready, you're going to want to queue up some buildings. And this is where you come to your second decision. Do you pick solar or wind? That depends on the map. And to decide that, you're going to need to see how much wind is generated on a map. You can do this by looking at the energy bar. And to the right of that, you will see a propeller with two numbers in it. The top number is the minimum amount of wind that the map will generate, and the bottom number is the maximum amount of wind that the map can generate. It normally fluctuates between those two numbers, so just keep that in mind. Whereas solar will always generate 20 energy whilst the solar generator is running. However, it does require a lot more metal to build Whereas wind doesn't require that much metal, but does require energy to build. So you need to have energy first in order to build the windmill. So to start off with, um, I will normally go uh, one max, two wind, one max, and then the factory. If I can squeeze in an extra max, perfect. Now, what you normally want to do is first thing out the factory, is if it's the pvp map this is especially because you want to build a couple of scouts if you can um, they are low energy cost which will mean that during that time you, you can use your commander to build a couple more power generators then as soon as those scouts are done your engineer will be building with that you can then use your commander to assist that first engineer out before you leave your base this gives you the time to build the energy so that you can assist that engineer out so that you don't energy stall. Then from there, you basically continue to build more of your chosen power and slowly scale it up. Generally, you want to have at least one engineer constantly building power. This way, you'll never run out of it. However, also note that wind takes up a lot of room. So if you don't have a lot of room, you're going to want to upgrade and replace that wind with something more powerful down the line these bars along the top are your income bars it will show you how much of each resource you are producing and how much you are using these red squares show at what point your economy is shared with the rest of the team you need to give your teammates more of your resources you can lower that slider giving them more of your capacity the yellow-ish looking uh, slider is your energy conversion slider. This is the point where any excess energy over that line will get turned into metal by your metal makers. That will be something we'll get into after we've talked about tech two. On a lot of the maps, there is reclaim available for you. To reclaim this, you need either an engineer or a reclaim bot this can vary from being a substantial amount of metal, but generally is power. This can help you supplement your own power supply until you can get your own power up and running, especially for windmills, which, as I said, require energy to create. As with Tech 1, Tech 2 also has its own economy structures. It has Tech 2 mexes and two types of power, the Fusion and the Advanced Fusion Factory. To build a Tech 2 metal extractor, you need a Tech 2 engineer of some description. As you can see here, I've got a Tech 2 air constructor. Now you've got two ways of upgrading your mexes. Either you can manually build them by clicking this button, 
or you can click here to upgrade max and then select the max you want to choose and then that will upgrade it there is also a toggle which will allow your engineer to go about his own business upgrading any mechs you have bear in mind though this will only upgrade basic mechs unless you are core and then it will upgrade to the cores version of the, the weaponed one but armada's cloaked mechs will not be upgraded another thing to note is that all metal extractors require power to run a tech one metal extractor only requires two energy whereas a tech two metal extractor requires 20. you need to have at least one solar panels worth of power just for that metal extractor therefore as soon as you've gone to tech two and got a couple of your extractors upgraded you need to invest in some form of tech two energy normally you will build a initial fusion power plant which will cover you the the foreseeable future until you start building advanced fusion now there's another resource which isn't really shown very easily and that's the unspoken resource of build power now factories engineers and the commander all have varied build powers factories build power themselves is not that high so generally you want at least one engineer at the beginning assisting your factory the sooner you can build nano towers the better they have 200 build power which is more than the majority of the engineer units you can build not only that but they automatically work in the area around them so they will repair they will reclaim and they will also assist anything in the nearby area that needs build so they're very important to build in so that you don't have to micromanage your base so when it gets to building more advanced economy they're very useful to build to increase the speed in which you can build buildings so as you can see here i've built 10 nano turrets okay we've also got some a bit low a uh, bit lower by the aircraft plant so what we'll do now is we'll just build this advanced fusion just outside of the range of the nano turrets we'll see that it takes nine minutes with the current build power i have to build that advanced fusion now that's way too long so we need more build power on it so what we're going to do is we're now going to build this advanced fusion next to the nano turrets so here you can see the build time on this advanced fusion has now gone to one minute and 50. that is a lot more acceptable time to build an advanced fusion now we've put the advanced fusion here between both the sets of nano turrets and the build time went from 150 to 110. so as you can see the more bad build power the better however obviously you need to have the economy to support it in the first place as you can see here i'm slowly losing metal now because i'm using more than i'm producing the advanced fusion generates a 3000 energy though so one of those is substantial enough to basically supply the rest of your power that you'll need for the foreseeable future up until the point where you start making a metal maker economy so what is a metal maker economy well metal maker economy is used by building metal makers uh, to do that you select your tech 2 engineer and you use this advanced energy converter this advanced energy converter converts 600 energy to 10 metal every second bear in mind as mentioned before it needs to be above the yellow slider on your energy bar if you're stalling energy the energy converters are not going to work so one advanced fusion reactor can support four advanced energy converters and have a little bit of extra energy left to support your expansion in your building so a metal maker economy generally goes along the lines of one advanced fusion four energy converters one advanced fusion four energy converters and you continue that basically forever it's an infinite scale one thing to note however is obviously you're limited on space and all of these buildings are extremely volatile 
So the Tech 1 energy converters really are not worth building. Unless you are desperate, absolutely desperate for metal is the only instance you should consider building them. One energy converter of Tech 1 uses 70 energy for one metal. That is almost the same amount of energy produced as one advanced solar. So the conversion rate is just nowhere near as good. Bear in mind that different maps will have different amount of metal uh, from each of the metal points. So it's quite useful to see how much you're actually generating from those before deciding where you want to go. A big thing as well that a lot of people forget is reclaim is key. All of the units you lose on the front line have metal in them. If you can get that metal coming into your base, for you to put that into an economy, great. Do it as quick as you can if you control that front line. Now that's pretty much all there is when it comes to building a basic economy in bar. If you have any questions though, feel free to join me on Twitch. I stream every Friday. You can ask any questions there. Or you can jump on the bar's Discord. They're very helpful guys there. Any questions you have, I'm sure you get multiple people willing to help you. And with that out of the way, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.